Just landed in Detroit. Now we wait till our next flight to Rome. We're making our way to terminal, or sorry, gate 69. Currently we're at A25. Yep. So we had a, a nice little haul all the way across the airport. But um, luckily we got these nice forms of transportation right there, which we are not using right now, but hey. Recording me. When we're driving through the streets of Rome, it's definitely to always kind of look up because in Rome there's always history on every single corner and there's always difference uh, that you can see. And I like to point you out the things when I when I actually see them, so that way you can kind of connect the visual with the story. It just seems like ice cream. Not bad. It's pretty good stuff, man. The pantheon itself that turned into the church, that's why it's well preserved. It's, by all means, do go inside. It's very impressive. It's impressive from outside. The columns that you're going to see are actually directly brought from Egypt, so they are original. And you can almost kind of like see the lines of the ropes as the slaves dragged them from the Egypt. So it's, the building itself is impressive, but inside it's actually very interesting. My goodness, that is unreal. I'm speechless. First time pizza. Pepper pizza. That's pretty good, man. A lot different than American pizza, I'll say that. That's my opinion. It is very good. If you're from Italy, you get it because it's it's basically mozzarella stick, but it's a little bit sweeter, and the rice is really good. Uh, what's that? Just had my first bite. That's some good pizza right there, boys. Trey, I have look at it. Does it look like I've taken a pizza? Trey, you're halfway through this pizza. What are your thoughts? You know what? Trevor, this pizza is amazing. It's the best pizza I've had here. Hold my savior for a sec, because I want to try some cappuccino straight from Italy. 
and uh, she didn't take cards, so that's an L. So uh, cash on them. I I don't have any bills on me, but let me let me try this real quick. That is pretty good, boys. Better that that is a lot better than American, dude. Yeah. Honestly, a lot of the food that we have here, or that we've eaten here, that's also like they have it in America, is a thousand times better here. You know, it almost makes you never want to eat it in America ever again. But I hey, never eat pizza again now. Dude, out of here. it's gonna be weird. Yeah. But you know, when in Rome, right? Yeah. We just got out of the Vatican City. What did you think, Trey? Uh, what did I like? Yeah, what you, no, what did you think of the whole experience? I thought the Sistine Chapel was amazing. It was unreal, you know? Yeah, I liked the parts in the... We were actually in the church, the St. Peter's Church. Mm -hmm. That was probably my favorite one. We saw all the statues and like the... We looked down into the little hole the where crypt. we could see. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. And then the... The coffins of the... Oh. Previous popes, yeah, stuff like that. That was really cool. And then there was like artwork and stuff on the walls and like up at the ceiling. That was just huge. I thought it, it felt unreal because it was gigantic. You know. I know. Yeah, I felt like I put some pictures up, but it made us look minuscule. Yeah, we were doing. This whole trip's been like. I can't describe it with words, you know? I can't. I still don't like, I can't comprehend it. Dude, to think we're halfway across the world right now, walking with some dude playing music. I, I don't even know where he is. Oh, he's right there. Just, it's crazy, Trey. So we all had to wake up early. Everyone's leaving, except uh, Mr. Trey here. <laughs> Bro, I don't want to. You don't want to leave Rome? Well, sure, I guess. I'm just tired. I don't want to have a two hour bus ride. Those are lame. We're going to Croatia, boys. What's going on? So, when we hit June 7th at 12 a.m., it was before all of our folks back in Liberty hit June 7th. So technically we're seven hours into the future and there's seven hours in the past. So when we go home, we will technically be going back in time. CJ, what's the scenario, man? Bro, we lost Gavin and Cole. <laughs> and Cole. I'm scared of. We just lost gone. everyone. <laughs> we gave them a little ring. What's the scenario now, dude? Uh, well, they gave them a ring, they picked up, and said they're all the way ahead to KD. Yep. They're uh, all the way down there, so. Me forever. Quit filming. I was just ahead. So we're at the uh, Roman airport we're now. We're at the mall. Dude, we're at the mall. This isn't an airport. What the heck? This is insane.
Guys, we just barely got it, we but we, we got hey, it. Hey, we did it! Made it to Croatia. This weather is beautiful. It's so sunny, nice. Pulling up to our bus right now. Uh, I think we're gonna go get some money, go get some food, and then go on a nice little hike. Dubrovnik, I think that's how you say that. We're gonna go get some food. Um, we're just kind of walking around. Look at this, Game of Thrones official license souvenir. It is a very small city, but there's a lot of people here. Hey, found somewhere to eat. Mm. Uh, it's very hot, so I'll take a little nibble. Oh, Alright, um, here's a Trevi's food review of the Croatian yeah, fish and good. chips. Like, a little tartar sauce on here. Well, Cole's not dead yet, so I guess it's good news. Mm. You think people like watching you? Like I feel good. good. Very hot. And overall, this is a good meal, boys. That's just like so What are your thoughts? Oh, yeah, it was worth eating breakfast out of a box and eating nothing in an airport, a plane, or an airport and getting stuck in traffic for like an hour. Boys just finished eating. Um, now we're gonna walk around for like 20 minutes. And then I think we're gonna go on a guided tour around the city. And then maybe, I think we're gonna go on top of this mountain up here. Should be pretty cool. All the stuff out here is breathtaking. This whole city, everything around here, it's it's incredible. It's it's I don't know, it's almost indescribable to put all this stuff into words, but I'm glad I went. This has been an amazing trip and then to think this is only the third day, it's only gonna get better from here. Croatian smoothie test. Right, it's quality. That's pretty good. I mean it's a smoothie. It's all strawberries. How much is it? 49 kuna. <laughs> that is literally just strawberries. It's just strawberries, that's it. Croatian cat. So we just wrapped up our tour around the city. Now we're gonna go up this gigantic mountain. Um, I think we're taking two vans up there and then we're gonna have a beautiful view of this like whole and ocean, sea, this whole area. What are your thoughts, Trey? It's beautiful. It's indescribable, man. So you see the images, like I look up on Google and I'm like, yeah, that looks cool. And then you come here, it's a completely different thing. Like, it's ridiculous. It's unreal.
We made it to the top. Man. First stop. First stop. I think we're going all the way up there. Change of plans, that water is way too cold. So we're gonna head up to the, the pool, I think, and then go eat some food afterwards. But overall, man, this is beautiful, dude. Full time, not so bad. I'm so glad to get out of these things. Morning of day four, after we went swimming, we uh, all hung our stuff up on this railing. These shorts stayed up. These shorts stayed up. Those towels fell down. Guess whose shorts fell off the side of the house? CJ, what's up with that? Yeah, I, I don't know how to get my shorts, so uh... Nice breakfast time. Mm, good views and good food. So in addition for my shorts being dropped off the side of the building, we also locked the room key in the room. So we're gonna go talk to the front desk to get everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> what happened was, I locked my fanny pack in a little safe, right? Because I didn't want my money to get stolen. So, I do that. I go downstairs to give them breakfast and then to give my shorts. Well, these guys couldn't find the key, so we just kind of left. And then I forgot that the key was inside my fanny pack, which we just locked in the safe. So we just walked out, and now we're locked out. Uh, we talked to the lady at the front desk. She was like, yeah, we'll send someone from housekeeping up. And then they're in pursuit of my shorts right now. We also have like 10 minutes before we need to get on the bus. Six minutes until we need to get on the bus. But, you know, this is it's the fun trip. Update, we made it into our room. We're chilling now. Let me see about my swim trunks. They're, they're still down there. Boys, it's looking like I'm gonna have to buy a new pair of shorts. I don't think the front desk lady ever got to them. So uh, we're loading up on the bus right now. Good stuff. All right, so we got to our, our boat location where we wanna send off. I got me some shorts and some snorkels. Unfortunately, they weren't able to get my shorts uh, in time for our bus to leave. So I just had to buy a pair and they're like 60 bucks or so. But you know, it's in Kuna, so it was like 300. So it, honestly, it didn't slip my mind because I just thought everything was overpriced over here. But uh, they're all right. They're American shorts is the weirdest, the, the jockey brand. But we're chilling. Um, now we're gonna get on the boat, set sail, I guess. Let's try and cross this road without dying. One thing that's really refreshing about this place is the diversity and culture. There's people from all over the world here and like, I guess this is starting to become a very popular uh, tourist spot. It's, it's nice to see. So I think we're going to go island hopping, which that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to go to, I think, three different islands, basically at our leisure. So if we want to go like soon, like we can speed through it if we want, or we can just take our time. Um, First one, uh, Mirna, or tour director. All right, ran into a slight predicament. Uh, ran out of battery on my phone, or actually storage. So now we're gonna flip out the old handy dandy handy cam. And uh, anyways, what I was saying is, uh, okay, the first island, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just chill out. Uh, she said we're gonna stretch our legs, per se. Then we're going to go uh, the second island, eat some food. Um, I think she said we can go swim there. And the third island uh, was the one with the nice beaches. That's very interesting. So we're coaching the meetup spot right now and we're just gonna be chilling out. I really hope we're getting on this pirate ship right here. That would be dope. But uh, it's not looking like it. Oh well. Are you recording? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty well. We 
I sat and waited on the boat for a little bit. That's kind of annoying. Got some goggles so I can see underwater. I'm kind of excited. She said it's pretty clear and it seems pretty clear. So if I can see some stuff underwater, that'll be cool. All right, we just got off the boat, had our first stop. About to get some information, go swim, so. About to get in. Sad news, I didn't bring my GoPro, so you guys won't be able to see me underwater in this crystal clear, beautiful beach. Oh, it's so clear out here. I'll show you guys once we get closer to the water. Man, look how clear this water is. Some of our homies over there. Homeboy, how's the water, man? Really? Let me let me peep my feet in. Oh, that's a little chilly, chill, but yeah, it's not bad. It's honestly a little cool, but good stuff. Just got out of the water, bro. This whole trip has been insane. Swimming with the fish, like being able to have a snorkel in with goggles, going like way out there, and then just looking down into the water, that's insane. Like, you can see down, you see everything. Colt, I mean, you were pretty far out there. What are your thoughts, man? Snorkeling out here. I'd say something crazy, it's just. They have those sea urchins, like the, what are those? Sea, or, sea urchins? Urchins, yeah, uh -huh. with like the spikes and the poisonous. They, those things are everywhere. Yeah, they were, in, even in the show, and they're like hiding under like a rock or something, and those things will mess you up. And they're, it was just cool. Yeah, I mean, every every little shell you see is just like a tiny little crab just cruising along the bottom. Mm -hmm. it's just lice everywhere. You see a lot, a lot of wildlife out there. Uh, we also hopped on a kayak and yeah, we went like, way out, out there. That was pretty good stuff. <laughs> Fun trip so far, man. Now it's time. I believe we're gonna go to the second island and then go eat because time to munch. I'm hungry. How's this trip going? Good. Good. Outstanding. Back on the boat. I think we're gonna go eat now. Um, second island trip. <laughs> Trey with the new flops. I haven't tried them on yet, so let's see how this goes. How many kuna was that? It was 100 kuna. Dude, listen to this. I go in the shop looking for flip flops and I'm like walking around and I find some and then I like look around to see if there's anyone working I can, so I can buy them. Mm -hmm. and there was nobody. <laughs> so I walked around like, for like five minutes. I'm like, I'm gonna miss this boat. I thought everyone was gonna leave. So I walk outside and everyone was just standing outside confused. So I walk over to them and they're like, oh, we're trying to gather everyone. I'm like, well, I'm trying to buy these flip flops. And so I told Miriam about it. She's like, so, so she helps me. Mm -hmm. We walk back over, she like yells out some Croatian words. She talks to some people in the store next to me. And they said that the store to this other side, like they cover for each other. Oh. So we go talk to that person and then come over to the store. And then that girl comes back, the owner, <laughs> with food. That's where she was. So a bottle. There you go. Took a long time to buy these like $12 flip flops. I'm gonna laugh when these don't fit. They don't fit, dude. Oh man, do they ever fit. <laughs> All right, Treyway. Are they comfy, bro? Oh, yeah, they're comfy. Give us a flip-flop review. Hold up. Yes, yeah. I'm sorry, but the rest of you aren't here right now. Flip-flop. Oh, here we go. All right, we made it to the second island. We are on our way to the restaurant we're eating at. See you, um, Interesting boat ride, I'll say that. <laughs> and into this uh, foreign guy. Uh, oh, hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Sven. Um, Sven. Very, very happy to be here in Croatia. Um, it's very good, very beautiful, very clean. Uh, we got on boat today, a very long boat. Uh, we're going to eat in a little bit. Um, 
The water was very cold, but I got my sunscreen on my arms, but I am getting a little pink. Where's the fish? Where's um, the fish up? Just very fish happy up. to be here. <laughs> Made to the restaurant. Can't wait to eat this fish. Got our appetizer. Pretty good. Trey, what are your thoughts? Olive oil, some chicken, <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's olive oil, like yes. spice, that is like peanut oil, like some people cook it in. Mm -hmm. These noodles are good, got a little bit of tuna. It's really good. It's, it is really good. It's well, cool. this is chicken, there's tuna in these noodles, really, really good. Fish came, what are your thoughts? It looks disgusting. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to enjoy myself while I eat this. Um, yeah, and I'm going to enjoy watching you gag. Trey, we're into our fish meal, and what do you want now? You want to eat my fish, don't you? My second fish. Yeah, this dude just came down and slapped the fish in there. <laughs> He's like, more fish? And they're like, uh, sure. Right, everyone over here eating. Good time. Dad, what do you think? Good? Too full of groups, so we're doing the kind of like more special one for today, and it's more in a typical Croatian style. So let's see if you can see. Let's see. Happy birthday to you. And I got a present for both of you. Oh. I kind of made it more uh, the same way, so that way. So you remember where you're celebrating your birthday? So I got you a little, a little yeah. present from Dubrovnik. Oh. And then so if you remember Croatia and Korea, you get also a little one as well. Awesome. And there's a little one as well. Wait, Trey, what are you doing? I'm eating my fish. I got fish from the start, bro. I knew this was going to be good. I knew it. Turkish coffee just tastes this. It's definitely different. It tastes a lot lighter than just black American coffee. Um, <laughs> you like how they, they took care of my That's pretty good, man. I, I drink it again. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I feel like you wake up, pour yourself a cup of this, enjoy the nature out here. It's a good day. Just finished eating. That was a good meal. Cole, what'd you think, bro? I, I like the uh, tuna sour tuna pasta. Pasta we had at the beginning. That was actually really good. It was I, really I good. I was gonna like it if I did. It was this great. Sauce was very good. Dude, like, it was. You put some like sort of chicken sauce thing yeah. on it. It was. It was. It was very good. Fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we we just finished eating. That was a great meal. I had one and a half fish. I didn't even really want it. The guy just kind of put it on there, and I was like, Slapped okay. So I, I ate that that Turkish coffee. That was really good. Um, there's also the little donut ball things. So that was great. Now we're heading back to the boat, and then we're gonna go to the third island, swim around some more, I believe, and then we'll be going back to uh, Dubrovnik to go do some more shopping. What did you boys think of the the meal? Uh, I had the fish. I think we all had the fish. Except Trey. Trey's soft. I don't know, bro. I had the fish. <laughs> Had a little the bit chicken? of it. Yeah, he had the chicken. You both had the chicken. Baby. Anyway, we had the fish. I had two of them. It was very I thought he was great. Cuss. Uh, the coffee was good. It was called Turkish coffee. <laughs> uh, they had like the little like uh, donut rolls. Those are good. Cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, anyway, it was all really good. I thought so. 
to the third island. Uh, we're gonna do a little more swimming. Uh, we'll be here for like two hours or so, and then we're gonna go back to Dubrovnik and then shop. It's a lot of urchins. Yeah, you can see it, all that little three urchins everywhere. Might have to walk back that way. I don't want to Cole, what happened? Um, you know, just walking along and the sea urchins started talking to so I had to give him the one two Mayweather. You know, he got a lick in, but I should also include that Trevor threw a rock at my chest. I'm trying to skip a rock. All right, we're back on the boat, yeah. heading back to Dubrovnik. Trey, what's up? How these islands been, man? The, the islands? Yeah. My like, dinner, like all of them? All of them. Uh, this is probably the best island trip yet. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Last day in Dubrovnik. Um, we're gonna chill out for the rest of the night. And we gotta wake up at 6:45, and we're going to split Croatia. Um, there was very light vlogging today, and that's only because one, this camera battery died, and two, my storage on my phone ran out. So I'm on the wrong floor. So I had to resort to just my old ohos. But you know, I'm not mad because. It was nice just being able to live in the moment, you know? So, some good stuff. Always gotta be flicking pics, man. What's up with this? What's up with this? Alright, so Cole and I are at a dinner, and they have shark here. That's shark right there. Let's, let's try it. That looks and sounds interesting and different. It's like chicken. I'm not even kidding you. Wild. Kenna, hey, how are we doing? Pretty good. Pretty good? Emily Tobin, how are we doing? <laughs> Trey, you coming? Hurry up, dog. I'm coming, bro. I'm coming. So, we just left Croatia. Now we're in Bosnia. That's exciting, right? And uh, we're taking a little stop, a um, little restroom break. We're gonna go take a little, little shopping tour. Then what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna keep going through. We're like a little sliver of Bosnia going into split Croatia. Man, this is, this is incredible, man. Look at this view. Stop looking at these little fruit shops. Some interesting stuff here. I uh, just went to this little stand over here. Got some of these orange peel covered in sugar thing. Uh, according to Mirna, she says that this is like a, a dessert. Let's get away from this, this bus. She said it was like a little dessert. The lady here let me try some. Gabby, you want to try one? Different, huh? Okay, um, better than I thought it was gonna be, but it's still an orange peel. Mm -hmm. uh, not every day you eat orange not peel. Not very sour, though, like I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It's really sweet. I, I think it's alright. Glad I picked it up. Probably eat this at the beach a little bit. Cole, what'd you get? I got some, uh, Strawberry juice, there's a little like chumped up strawberries in there. Mm -hmm. It's just pure strawberry. It's so good. So good? Yeah, it's peach. A I'm natural peach. Just somewhere over there along with the strawberry juice. I love this. Have you tried it? Let's buy it. Look at that juice. Mmm, <laughs> that's natural juice right there. Life changing. Life changing. This place is pretty cool because you just have a bunch of 
little shops everywhere and all these people trying to sell all this homegrown stuff. Here I was telling us this is like what they call little California because of all the all the plants and everything out here. Um, and all these all these shops with these like local foods and you know all this stuff's pretty good man. And I'm glad glad I hopped down and bought something. Croatia. We're about to do a little tour around the main city, all the ports and stuff. Um, that was a long bus ride. We were on for, I think, about three, four hours or so. And uh, yep, after this, we're going to go take a nice little swim by the lake, go or the ocean, I should say, and then go around, maybe get some food, little souvenirs and stuff. But I'm a little tired, but you know what? It's about that grind, right? Alright, so we just finished touring the, the palace thing. Now we're in pursuit to hit the beaches, get a little water, maybe eat some food. Um, so we're on our way right now. It's incredible seeing like palm trees and stuff out here. Um, apparently, all this stuff that we're walking on, from like the water all the way to this wall right here, it used to not exist. It used to be like just a cutoff point at that wall, and it was just all ocean. But uh, nice little thing they've done here. What are your thoughts, Colin? It's pretty nice. <laughs> So we finally made it to the beach after walking like 20 minutes. It was a long haul, but uh, this better be worth it. So after walking around for like another 20 minutes, we uh, decided to all sit down and eat at a Papa's True American Bar. Um, you know, in Croatia. Looking at this menu, it's all like over American stuff. You know, it's whatever. All right, I got my burger. It was the uh, Big Papa, pulled pork, cheese, and burger. Let me try this real quick. I might have to turn the camera off. Hmm. Let go burger. It's different. Not bad though. I don't know if I'd get it again. A really thick bun though. So far, not bad. Finished eating. Uh, made it to the, the ocean here. Just chilling, bro. Get a little swim in. Maybe jump off these cliffs a little bit. On the rocks. Just having a good time. All right, we just finished swimming. Now we're gonna go back to the city for like an hour and a half. Go check out the local. Local stuff out there. The life, the culture. Yeah. See, see what life's about. Yeah, get some sunscreen because that's necessary. So, uh, we found.
found a store. Oops. I had to pick up a pair. These, oops. These were a lot cheaper here. They were like $93 compared to the 120 that you can get at like the States. So uh, I'm happy. I think these fit. I hope they fit. The lady was like, I tried to size up and she was like, uh, and that looks a little too big. You'll go back to the other one. I was like, okay. And then I put these on. And then I'm happy, dude. I've been meaning to get burst for a long time. Only in Croatia. Uh, we got some Croatian gelato. Again, ah, uh, it's flipping. I got the Don Vito. Don Vito. Like the Godfather, and then uh, something salted caramel. So, salty boy. That's pretty good. That was really good, actually. And I want to say it's better than Rome. Because they all taste the same, in my opinion. But I'm also no food critic, so I wouldn't know. Good. All right, so we're on our way to the sign where we're meeting after we get there. I think we're going to go eat, which is ironic because we're eating ice cream. Man, I didn't think that through very well. But hey, when are you ever going to get gelato ever again, Trey? Tomorrow. Cat. We made it back on the bus. We're gonna go eat some uh, good Croatian food. All right, made it to our restaurant, I believe. Look at this view. That's nice. Talking about like talking about it. Hey, this is Trevor L. Films, biggest fan club. <laughs> All right, we got some stew. Yep. It's different. I can't identify what's in here. He said it's a mixed vegetable. I can definitely taste the carrots. It's pretty good. I like it. I think this is the main course. I ate a couple bites, about half it. It's really good. I thought this was a potato, but it's not. It's a little chewier. Sort of. Yeah, try one, guys. I think it's a dumpling, but what if you like sauté in it? It is kind of like a sour taste. Alright, boys, we got our dessert. Looks like Colt is about to bite in. Good. Let me take, let me take a little nib. I don't know if there is something in there, but there is something It's pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's, well, there's a little, little like apple stuff looking in here. It's pretty good, man. Correction, we think it might be peach flavoring inside. Alright, we just finished eating. Now we're on our way to the hotel. I think the boys and I are going to check in and then do a little more snorkeling. Hey, Trey, how's dinner? Here. It was pretty good. All the way outside of Split and It was kind of weird. So, so you know those little bowls like they gave us at first? To see. Yeah. Well, they, they were going to put soup in them. Crazy. Well, they put bread out with them, so I put bread on my thing and started eating it. And they're like, oh, no, you're not supposed to eat that yet. So I was like, what? Well, next thing they do, they come around and pour in soup and all of the bowls. I was like, oh, crap. Don't worry, man. I did the exact same. That's my street. Really? Yes, I, I just ate the bread. And yeah. The bread was good. And so was the soup. Pulling up to the new hotel. It is much more of a downgrade, but hey, we're only here for one night. All right, we made it to our hotel room. This isn't much of a downgrade. They said it was downgrade. It looks good to me. Oh, we got a balcony too? A? That's a great view. All these old time roads. We just got done with our night swim not too long ago. Now we're just chilling in the hotel room. I'm out here, wow, there's loud cars over there. I'm out here enjoying the night, just chilling on this uh, chair, on the balcony. We stay here for one night, then we're gonna go to Plavence something. P starts with a P. I don't know how to really pronounce it. We'll find out, we'll see what Mirna says tomorrow. But uh, yeah, we spend one night here at this hotel, then we'll be there. Croatia's been a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to a bunch of like lakes, I believe, but we can't get in the lakes here. It's gonna be cool. Uh, you'll see what, what it's all about. But it's, it's been a great time so far. Um, right now it's just kind of a relaxed, time to chill time. So I'm gonna capitalize that, just soak, on, soak in the whole experience. It's been a lot of fun. And I don't know, man. It's, this is a life changing experience. You know, once in a lifetime chance, and I took it. And I'm so glad I did, because if I didn't, I'd be regretting it right now, I'm just chilling at home. So I'm so glad I went here. I'm just having a great time learning the culture and 
just getting a lot of cool stuff. We have a surprise on our way. We're gonna hit that up. It will be in Plavice. I don't know how to say that. We're gonna go there, check out the lakes. My fanny pack is falling off apparently. So uh, we're gonna hop on this bus and then get on another car ride. It's because this is the place, there's only two in the world. One is in San Francisco. And this is the second place in the world. It was built in 2005 and it's actually Sea Organs. We're in Sub City. We're going to go listen to the Sea Organs, walk around for a little bit, get back on this bus, and then we'll be chilling for another hour and a half. So these, these are the what is called Greeting to the Sun. It doesn't look like if you'll ever research it, they are so apart, but they actually create all the different different uh, lights so the when the ocean comes in it will create all this like movements and everything and it's pretty cool like it doesn't look much impressive now but i'm gonna go sit you on this, those steps over there so that way you can actually hear the organ all right the waves are coming in we should hear something pretty soon it's kind of cool. are gonna stop for lunch so remember it's kind of like a cafeteria style okay it doesn't seem too busy so that's good that's only two buses there's a little mi mini market as well we got our food i believe this is beef or goulash one of the two let me try it real quick that's pretty good tj what do you think really good really good colt what did you get I got the roasted chicken, potatoes, and some kind of pastry with Nutella on it. It's gonna be good either way. We just finished eating and we think we're gonna see a live bear. If so, this is a life changing experience. You never see a live bear? I have, but not in Croatia. That's a big bear. Big bear. Look, it's T Grizzly. Ooh, they got more animals out here. Okay, it looks like we're approaching some donkeys. Cole, you are a madman. Absolute madman. Bad. That is something else. Anna, how's the chocolate? Pretty good. Pretty melted though. Sad. Big sad. Back on the bus. Our next stop should be the lakes. That's gonna be awesome. Um, those animal places were very smelly, but it was all right. We'll see some live animals. I guess it's like a little zoo they have here, along with the restaurant right there. Did you pet the bear? It was really good. I did not pet the animals. But, yeah. We made it to Lake Plavica. We want to do a little tour around here. A uh, guided tour with a tour guide. Holy cow. That is so pretty. Ooh.
Jeez, this water is so clear. That's so, so pretty. This whole area is so peaceful and zen. It's just quiet, calm over here uh, compared to over where that waterfall was. Man, the water's so calm out here. It's so blue. It's, that's beautiful. So this is the part where we split off. I think a couple of us are going to take the boat. Other of us are going to keep going through the trails. How are we doing, boys? Wait, wait, where's the boat going? How are we doing, Trey? Hi, fam. Trails are going where? Then. That's a fish. Yeah. Trey. What? How's the boat? We just got on it. I have no idea. Yeah, no, it's taking us to another dock. Yeah. All right, so we're part of the tour where we split off. Half of us went back up. Half of us are uh, still walking around. I believe after this, we're going to take a little train or so. But this is more or less more little waterfalls. Whoa. Yeah. Whew. Almost died because of the step over here. Snake. I hope you know this is a video. <laughs> All right, so Colt and I are pretty sure we were told to go to S the one C three S T three up there. We took our first hike to P three, and we took the boat down. We didn't get off of the first stop. We got at the second stop, I believe P two, and then started hiking to S T three, and we just saw a sign for S T three, and we took it. So hopefully, we're on the right way. Some homies are here, so we won't get too lost. Hold on. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, we think we're at a four wheeler road. I don't know if that's a trail, homie. <laughs> So, uh, kind of lost. No, not really. I know exactly where we are. We're, we're mapped out, but we're at a. We can the road. we can just go we can just go left, just because it looks like more of a straight shot. All right, Mr. Adventure Man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we most definitely think we went the wrong way. Right now, Colt is ringing up the boys to see uh, if they're if they're at where we need to be or not. Um. On the map, it doesn't look too far, but for how long we've been walking, it's been a good distance. So uh, we'll figure out what happens. Irina told us to always take the left, but that's going back to P2, and that's where we're just at. So, uh, so uh, I just realized we made a loop all the way around this little lake. Daniel, thanks for pointing that out, man. So uh, we're just gonna walk up here and go to the road. But this is like. So we found a road. 
What's the scenario? Yeah. Okay, so we've been on the road for a little while because we got lost. We didn't get lost. Yeah. We were <laughs> just taking the scenic route, right? Made our way. So now we just got Google Maps and a regular map. Oh, we oh, found we the found homies. <laughs> We took the scenic route. Yeah, we got, we got amazing pictures. You guys went left, we, too, because she said left. Yep. Yeah, and I, when I got there, and I'm like, wait, this is right, because she said, yeah, yeah. She said left. I was following the sign. Oh, oh, oh. I presume you all enjoyed the day. It was a, a more hike than you actually planned, but I think it was worth it, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. At least you earned your dinner. First, I'm gonna get the room so that way we can get. It. Holy rich! How we turn this? Oh, Whoa! Holy Yo! Dude, I drew that. No way! What the heck? That's... I didn't get any money for that. All right, boys, got our buffet style dinner. Not bad. I, all of these buffets, I haven't been able to get the whole fish, so looking good. Trey, what's the scenario? So something bad happened. What happened? I can't find my backpack. Why not? So I know the last time I had it was in the lobby. Right there? Yeah, right there. Uh -huh. So I was talking to Ali Fancher and I got my Tide pin out to clean up my, <clears throat> my dirty shorts. Mm -hmm. Well then, so we go upstairs and whatever to get our rooms and then I sit down and I'm like where's my backpack so I come back down here and look not here and then I go all around in my room looking and I can't find it I look in Gavin and them's room to see if they took it can't find it they all swear they didn't take it so I don't even know what to do then I go down and talk to the front desk and they were helpful but they didn't know where it was they said they didn't have cameras and they didn't see anyone take it or anything like they don't no one returned it and then I went and checked the bus me and uh, Colt did. Mm -hmm. It's not, not on there. there. So I just asked some people to check in their rooms to see if they accidentally picked it up. Because I don't remember ever setting it down, but I could have. So what are you going to do? Wait. Ask people if they. What if Ali took it? I would not be surprised. All right, finished eating dinner. The boys and I are back in the hotel room. We also went out to go work out. Um, this is what we call a European. Uh, you know, wash. Hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, so let's do this. What's up? I thought all my toiletries were in my backpack that I still haven't found, by the way. It turns out a half of them were actually in my suitcase, which so, I still have. So you clutched so, out. So I actually brought, I filled up these travel bottles, these empty travel bottles from Target. Two of them with shampoo and conditioner, two of them with uh, body wash, and two of them with laundry detergent. So I ended up having one of each. So the one laundry detergent, we get with the nicest tub that we've had so far. We're washing all of our stuff in that one. Well, I wash all of my stuff first, and then Trevor's washing some stuff after me because, you know, a little bit of dirty, soapy water is better than sweaty clothes. Yeah. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I'm not upset. I'm kind of happy, you know? Yeah, well, the problem is we also don't have a balcony. So oh, yeah, yeah. Check this yeah, out. Let's That's okay. We, we want to hang stuff there. And then over here, this is our uh, humble abode. Oh, you can't see. Yeah, Crap. The, the other rooms are all better. We got the worst one. Yeah, we got this little balcony. It's not even a balcony. You can't even stamp out here. But all this. Let's let's see if Gavin's room's open. We can show you their set up. Oh, look, look. look they got this. a whole another door. Uh, they got this entire thing. Look at this. Uh, this is all his clothes right here. Uh, I did laundry. Guys, help. This Croatian gym, everything's in kilograms. I don't know how heavy everything is. Update, it's the morning and uh, none of our clothes are dry. Trey, what are we doing? Well, I tried to blow dry them and that didn't work very well. So these are the only clothes that I didn't wash because I haven't worn them yet. It's the best day to wear because we're in the caves, but like I'm gonna be hot. So I'm just gonna have to. Once we get to the other hotel, I'm gonna hang them back out and hopefully. Hopefully nothing gets too bad. I don't know how big of a problem it is of putting them in here wet. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. Update Trey doesn't know yet, but Mr. Yeah. Wickham found his bag. 
or someone found his bag and Mr. Wickham has it. Clutch. Right now we're getting back on the bus. We're gonna go to um, Slovenia and then we're gonna make our way to Venice. Woo. Oh, he had it? He's had it since last night. Trey, how's it feel to find your backpack? <laughs> I'm relieved. <laughs> Stress. And uh, most of all, I like to thank Trevor L. Films for doing nothing for me. And I really appreciate it. Hey, so just quickly, because some people are already asking me, so I'm just going to let you know. I'm sure you noticed that a bunch of these houses are abandoned. I have a feeling this was actually, um, judging by the church, it was probably a Serbian village. So during the war, a lot of the um, Serbian as well, they they basically moved out. Also, the Croatians we from this area because it was so heavily attacked. They moved out to the different countries. They went to Germany, asked, you know, usually or or uh, Sweden or you know, however all the refugees kind of go in more Western countries. And then when you make your life uh, there, usually people just kind of stay in. Then we're about 45 to 30 minutes away from the caves now. We're taking a little pit stop, a little restroom break. Um, there's a McDonald's over there, so we might try some European McDonald's, see what that's like. Yeah, we're trying to get a big tasty. Yeah, or a big tasty bacon, a Mick Country. <laughs> what does that Filet mean? Filet fish. Generous Jack, who's that? A McMenu. What's a McMenu? Oh my big god. Tasty big tasty McMenu. <laughs> uh, I'll do the. Caesar Peep McMenu was? What the heck? I like this big McTasty. Get your Bon Appetit. Get a, oh. get a big tasty. I can get the big one, dude. Yeah, if you're, if you're getting a big tasty, it's gotta be big. Fries larger. Big ass. Uh, yeah, ketchup. Um, water's fine. <laughs> yeah, I got like a meal and then I got a Mc Flurry. Let me get, let me get that Kit Kat Mc Flurry. Got, this McCafe, dude. We don't got this at a... Kansas City. What the heck? This is like an actual cafe. That's wild. Is McDonald's any different here? No. Oh. Well, yeah, actually, yeah. Good. They have a Kit Kat McFlurry. And they have an entire like cafe. Yeah, that McCafe was crazy. Dude, when they said Big Tasty, they weren't kidding. That's big, dude. Holy cow. They don't have that American. That seems more American than anything. Let's see. Holy big tasty. Let me see. <laughs> this thing's gigantic. So I'm about a third through my McTasty. It is not McTasty, bro. Not, or big tasty. I think, <laughs> I think they have, oh, I am a bit backlit. I think they have like salad dressing on here. And it's like sweet and like tartary sauce. I don't know. Not, not a big fan. All right, we're on the border of Slovenia and Croatia. Probably shouldn't be recording this, Trevor. They're gonna get a shot and kill. We made it to the border. Oh, God. All right, so we made it to the caves. We have to find something to do for about an hour because we made it like seven minutes late. But uh, we're chilling. There's little souvenir shops everywhere and stuff we can do. So we'll go around, hit the restrooms, and hit the caves. Slick, but it's not. It's kind of sticky. According to Mirna, it has uh, anti slip stuff. Let me open this up. Probably can't see it, but they probably not the best time to vlog since it's just black down here. <laughs>
Trey has his cape, bro. It's pretty cool. It's gotten cooler as we've gotten deeper into it. Kinda smells. Salamander. So we just got out of the cave. I don't know if I got any good footage because it's pretty dark. What do you guys think? It was, it was cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> just a cave. Pretty cool because there's like gigantic structures and stuff in it. And it's all natural too. But like, it was a cave. We're getting back on the bus. We'll be heading straight to Venice, so it's another two and a half hour ride. Then we can go eat, have fun, do Venice stuff, so. Mm. We made it to our next hotel. Interesting stuff in here. Oh. Boys are all here. We were specifically told not to open up this window because there's like really bad mosquitoes here. So uh, we won't open that up and we'll just chill in here. It's pasta time. It's pasta time, I'm excited. All the homies are out here. I tried a little bit of my pasta. It's not bad. Uh, as opposed to some other people over here. I didn't say it was bad. I said that I could eat this exact same pasta at home. All right, so we accidentally ate double of the appetizer. Now we got the main course right here, which looks like chicken and- Is that the main course? I believe these are potato tots. Or is it like Corn dogs? <laughs> these tater tot things are a new sensation. Cause this is just like a, a mashed potato inside. CJ, have you tried it yet? I haven't tried it yet, the chicken's really good though. Dude. All right, we got a dessert. Let's do a little Trebby's food review here. That's pretty good. I can't, I can't tell what it is, but I like it. It tastes some sort of apple. It tastes some sort of like lemon. Almost. Yeah, lemon maybe. More lemon than apple. It tastes like a lemon bar. It tastes really good though. Yes, I like it. It's good. Some one of the better desserts we've had. It's really sweet. And it's a little bit tangy, but I think it's sweet kind of drowns out the tanginess of it. It's some sort of like apple. I don't know, I like a little crust underneath. It has like a good it mixes like this uh like sweet apple type thing with like the crust underneath really well. It's good. We wandered off to the local soccer game. Huh. Gab, what are your thoughts? Cool, I didn't know this was over here. And then we heard uh, whistles and then we walked over and saw it. Nice. See, aren't you guys glad you wanted to spawn with me? All right, breakfast time. We got croissants, ham, cheese, cookies, yogurt, coffee. Mm. There's no roads, it's only canals. So their canals are basically what our highways are, uh, you know, our normal normal roads that we drive cars on. That's how uh, they drive. We made it to Venice, the floating city. Pretty cool stuff. The structures out here are incredible. Just looking at everything around here. Um, it's a shame that it might sink pretty soon. Luckily, we're visiting it now while we can. Cool, we're on our way to go see our tour guide. So we get a nice little tour of the city. But for the most part, wow, this is crazy.
just went on a tour around uh, Venice. We know now. We now know the layout. Now we're gonna go to the glass factory, see some people blow some glass. Yeah. On our way around, there's so many places that you can just buy these like little glass figurine things. But I don't know. It'd be interesting to see how they're like it's actually made. So. Do you have any idea what's the main ingredient that you use to pull the glass? You have a schist so that you use to cut the glass. Okay, so everything is handmade. Um, be careful, outside there are many small shops selling Venetian glass, as they say, the right in the window of Venetian glass or of glass. But you don't know if they're real. Because Venetian glass is handmade by us. Okay. After we go inside, I explain you a few techniques to recognize real from the okay. As you can see, this glass is becoming clear. It's clear glass, but and when it's melted, it's orange. When it becomes completely clear, it's solid, so it cannot be shipped anymore. Usually when uh, a master create piece has to put inside the oven more than once to keep heating up the piece and keep the temperature that high. Uh, right now, this is more than 700 degrees, it's still pretty hot, so it has to be put inside a cooling oven to cool it down slowly. Otherwise, the thermic shock might, might break the ice. We just finished the glass factory tour. Now we're gonna try and find something to munch on. We're all starving. The boys found a place to eat. All right, got my pizza. First bite. Everyone knows the rules. One bite. It's pretty good. You would have your Hawaiian pizza. Pretty good. This is actually fun. Uh, we just finished eating. Now we're gonna find some shops to get some stuff at. I think first stop is the, the Gucci store, so. <laughs> yeah, like, this is the cool, coolest moment of my life. Is doing this on purpose? Yeah, I think it's a good one. I think it's a good one. We're in the Louis V elevator. Holy nice. The Gucky store. I just wandered into the Gucci changing room. Oh my god, this floor feels rich. And on top of that, we're in freaking Venice, bro. Oh, this is crazy. The boys got more gelato. Cool. Oh. Hey. Goodbye. I'm on a gondola. Hey, dude. We made it to a gondola. Indiana Jones bow. Yeah, we just got done with our gondola ride. Trey, what do you think? 
It's very sensual. I really appreciated it. Gavin, what are your thoughts? Um, it was just six dudes on a gondola. It was so uh, romantic. Getting on, once again, another bus. All right, boys, we got dinner. Of course one. Looks good, let me try to taste it real quick. It's pretty good. Miriam said it uh, has zucchini in it. It's not bad. Zucchini sauce, not bad, pretty good. All right, we got our main course. Looks like potatoes and meat. Very nice. Very nice. Let me get a bite of this. Pow. That's a really good flavor. Unique. The sauce is good. The meat is good, but it was really fat. Mine was really fat. I don't know about you. Mine wasn't. Maybe it was just a one bite I took, but it was quite fat. Alright boys, we got our dessert. Colt, what do you think? Mm. That's really good. It's... I can't describe it. Yeah, what's the scenario? We about died. Like, no, way times? more than 10. We're about, at least 20, yeah. call 20. Anyway, so we took, we literally played chicken with a one lane road that was really windy, and we had to pass the other buses, and it was really fun. We had a great time. Yeah. yeah. So now we all got off, and we're gonna walk to the Bellagio. We love this. One way road, and we're all walking on it. Nice. So we went to this pizza shop and I cook your pizza there. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm already a quarter into my pizza. And I'd give it a solid eight out of 10. It's a pretty good pizza. Our Boys? Good. Eight out of 10. It's not like the normal pizza we've had because every other pizza that we've gotten in Italy or Real anywhere. Thin. Really thin. And this, this one is... Uh, <laughs> this is more of American style. It's, it's deep dish. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it tastes good. Muy bien. Show me the way we can be with you. You with her, I know I saw you. Breaks my heart, but what can I do? It is life, I know I loved you for good. We are trying to make it a very steep turn. It doesn't look like that when you're These guys have to back up. This is incredible. Only in the Europe trip, 2019. Taking a quick stop at this beautiful spew. Oh my goodness. Check this out. Ooh. Dang. What do you think, Gav? 
Unreal. It's a helicopter pad. It's a... Uh, Welcome to Nintendo Cribs. If you happen to be asleep, you can go to see a little. Switzerland truss. Pretty green, pretty white, very mountainous. Yeah, it's breathtaking. Unreal. Cole, how do you like in Switzerland? Okay. How do you like in Switzerland? That is nice. Very green. Um, I cannot wait to try the cheese. It's fantastic. Oh, uh, Cole, are you excited for Switzerland? I'm beyond excited. Yeah, Why are you excited? Because the Alps. You see the Alps right now. You're already looking at them. Idiot. You're getting over to the top. So the Alps in Italy. Are they really Very excited. Yeah. Bro, we got we got dinner. We got dinner. We have pasta, rice, corn, and chicken. I gotta admit, when I saw this hotel, I expected more. Mm, this is pretty good. All right, we got breakfast. Some chocolatey cereal, cheese, ham, some other sort of meat, and yogurt. What are your thoughts, Anna? You put that completely wrong, and look at that. <laughs> Bro, <Bruh laughs> moment.
This has been unreal. I hope we're able to get to the top of the Shiltorn today. Um, it might be a little too foggy, but if it is, that'd be very disappointing because being in between this valley right here, this mountain range, this is awesome. But being at the top, that would be awesome. I don't even, I couldn't describe how amazing this is and how, how much oh, fun and cool this has been as an experience. Allie, what'd you think? Amazing. Amazing? Life is amazing. <laughs> we just got done with the water burn valley. Okay, okay, now we're going to go on our way See, up to the shield horn. So I'm, I'm hyped. I can't wait. Trey, wait, you excited, bro? Yeah, obviously. Who was it excited, bro? Did you see the view? Uh, Mirna had this little like uh, iPad thing, and then she was showing us a live camera from the top of the from the top of the shield horn. Okay, guys. Really Sorry, cool. it's a little bit. Tickets to the Shilthorn. We're about to go up on the cable car. We'll first stop about halfway or like quarter way up to a small town called Murin, I believe. Then we're gonna go up. So six minutes and we'll all be getting on this train, or at least my dad and I for now. And it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Alright, we're walking to the cable car right now. Woo! Are we standing in the corner? Up here, man. Some vlog footage. Not even at the top yet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just hopped on the train. Let's go to Mirren. Apparently it was it was shut down earlier, but uh, it cleared up just enough that we can get up here, and I'm so glad it did. This is so beautiful. I'm honestly so glad I got up here. Just chilling my. Oh. All right, heading back down. Oh my goodness, that was, that was insane. Oh, 
Oh, oh why is this? This feels more stable than another one does. This is cool. This is what we like to see. Cracked windows on the glass walk. gondola we're now back in Murin I think the boys are gonna get something to eat cuz it's been it's been a minute since we've last eaten like six or so hours so I don't know where we're walking but they're walking somewhere How was your trip to Switzerland? Uh, pretty neutral. You know, not too great, not too bad. So I did a little shopping. Uh, I already had my Swiss Army knife, but Gavin pointed out to me that I can get it engraved. So I went to the, the there's a watch store that was selling these, and you can what you can do is you can go up there, and then I only paid two francs because I didn't technically buy my watch there, or my, my knife there. And uh, the lady engraved it in like two seconds, so that was pretty cool. Now I'm gonna go meet up with Gavin, Colt, and I think Colin at the waterfall over here, which that looks insane. Dinner day two in Switzerland. Bread, same pasta, different meat. I think this is soup. Whatever it is, it was pretty good. Pasta, and pasta's pasta. Cool. Then you're up. station. Um, we're going to take a four hour train ride to Paris. Hannah K, are you excited? No, I want to sleep though. A lot. Alright, Treyway and I were trying to use this Mick McClean with this piece of garbage right here. $1.50 to use the bathroom. And it doesn't even work. It doesn't take small currency or $2, or $2 euros. This is whack. The boys and I went to their equivalent of a grocery store to get some uh, Oh, no. Snacks. I, I just went is. through the coop. Yeah, it's got the essentials. Got some gummy bears. Got some mixed nuts. Now we're going to go to the train. The boys got hungry, so we made it to the, the little bar. How's the train ride? There's no leg room. My shins hurt. Dinner in Paris. It looks like uh, some sort of meat, deviled eggs, potatoes, tomatoes, and lettuce. Gavin, what do you think, man? CJ? Really good. Really good? Surprisingly good. Surprisingly good? Let me try a, a potato. That's a solid potato. Alright, just tore up that dinner. It was pretty good. Dressing a little strong, meat, a little fatty, but hey, it was not bad. Mr. Cole, what'd you think? 
We got dessert. Let's try it. Let's try it. That is really good. It's super lemony. Boys, cold. So, yeah, it brought a smile on my face. So. There's like nothing to see out here. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know, just like little ants running around. Um, yeah, honestly, I think I'm just gonna go back down to the floor. Me too, man. Oh, wait. Look at that. A big fork. First bite of my crave. That's delicious, man. I got the uh, Annabelle, which has bananas, whipped cream, Nutella, and some like cinnamon looking stuff. It is really good. So I'm gonna chow down on this. After this, we're going to go to our hotel room and then go to sleep. Then tomorrow, we will be going on a tour, bus tour around Paris. So fun stuff happening in Paris right now. Why do you think about really No. <laughs> Gab, what are your thoughts? It's dope. I like it a lot better than what I thought I was going to like it. I like the city a lot better than I thought I was going to like it. Um, it's a lot cooler than I imagined, and it's also a motorized scooter in that bush. But, uh, yeah, it's dope.
All right, so we just got done with the tour of France, not the tour de France, but the tour around France. We started off like half of it on a bus, but the bus got way too hot. So we decided to just walk around the moat, uh, the rest of it. Um, so we got done with that. We got a couple souvenirs at these souvenir shops over here. Now we're gonna go find some authentic French food. So I'm starving. It also looks like it's about to rain, so it could start coming down at any second now. But you know what? We're in Paris, man. That's insane. All right, the other boys went to go get Chinese, so Trey Wei, Cole Wei, and I were getting some good French food. We oui, oui. You think it's a good idea to get my sister's gift? The boys got their food. Oh, this Look all at looks this. good. Dude, this that's looks a huge, that's a diesel burger. Ooh, that looks good. This looks really good. good. I just took a bite of this fish. So good, so good. Cole? Oh, you're, you're munching down right now. <laughs> Treyway, what do you think? It's good. It's interesting. This cheese is different. Very different. I like it though. Boys and I are trying to get these scooters. Cole, my boy, I'm letting he's letting me use his hotspot. Here, spot. take my phone. Okay. So, the wife's... Um, yeah, I didn't pay for the overseas data plan, so uh, we're going to get scooters in Paris. All right, boys, we got them. We're gonna be rolling. We're riding scooters <laughs> in Paris. <laughs> we just finished our scooter ride around Paris. Treyway, thoughts? Hey, time of my life. Time of my Shout life. What do y'all boys think? That was fun. It was a hoot and a half. That was awesome. Delicious. Treyway, how's the food? It's good. I like potatoes. But it's like it's like a potato casserole. And it's like it's like cheesy. It's really good. The potatoes are soft. So good. I haven't I haven't done into this yet. You're very lean. Whatever this sauce is, this mushroom sauce is really good. Long story short, it's really good. Just finished eating. That meal is really good. What would you think, bro? I like the uh, the meat, whatever we had, but the uh, mashed potatoes or the potatoes that we had, I don't know. I just I wasn't really a fan of them. We got the dessert. Let's try it. Oh my god. Mmm. Ah, I'm not expecting that. Oh my god. Mm. That was a very joyful surprise. You know, mm. chocolate on the outside, chocolate in the inside. So cold, savory. All of you have had a good time. This trip lived up to everything that you'd hoped it would be. Um, I would ask real quickly, I'm going to run through, I like to find out here. Just get in your mind. If you had one city that you were going to remember the most, one that you might want to come back to or whatever, I'm going to run through them real quick. I want to see hands on what they are. Okay? So here we go. Are you ready? Rome? Dubrovnik. <laughs> Dubrovnik. <laughs> what I said. you. Vatican. Oh, Rome, Vatican City. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Dubrovnik. All right. Uh, split. Levitza. Uh, oh my God. Venice? Oh, Venice. I won't go back there, but I'll go back to Venice. I'll go back to Switzerland? Oh, I'll go back there too. You guys voted twice. And Paris. Alright. You know what? I voted every time. The last thing now that I can get to for Mika, she's here. How about a round of applause for Mira? speeches but I've been doing this to you since 2006 so thir 13 years if my math is a certain thing <laughs> I always get it every single time when the tour is done. Are we your favorite group? Are we your favorite group? You know and usually like yeah of course. <laughs> <laughs>
But guys, you were absolutely amazing. You were an awesome group, and I can definitely say this is my favorite group. Uh, I get to know some of you more, some of you less. But for for my part of the job, I greatly appreciated how on time you were, how how much. Not so much when you're taking the videos of me. <laughs> <laughs> smile. Yeah, yeah, get that good smile. Yeah, right? Because so I can get the dimple on her face. <laughs> but you were really, really amazing. And, and from my point of view, I really greatly appreciate everything, everything you've done and make my job so much more fun. Those 14 days being, being all together, it's not always easy for anybody. So when things don't run smoothly, this job, as much as everybody thinks it's fun, it can be really exhausting. But you definitely made it to so much fun, and this was definitely the best tour that I ever had so far. Yay! I made it. This time I made it. <laughs> wow. Now we're on our way to do a boat ride. Uh, it's called, I think, Paris by Night. But uh, it's not nighttime. So hopefully it's a long ride and we go all the way around and then it becomes nighttime. But for now, pretty daylight. Your boy got hungry, but it doesn't matter. hours only losing like five and then having like seven more hours with your family in a cage sleepy no. I'm are you uh, doing that again mm -hmm. <laughs> Treyway what's the deal I'm about to get on the plane I mean 53 oh, really? Treyway, what's the deal? They inspected my neck pillow. For real? Yeah, I feel it. It's like Expected metal thing in the middle neck. of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. They were scanning. And so then these ladies were like feeling it. And I was like, oh, it's the metal thing in there. That's from there. Like, yeah. And she like asked me, she goes, where'd you get this from? I like it. And I was like, I don't know, my dad got it to me. So she looked at the brand and she was like, nice. And just, I was cool. I think I'm smuggling drugs in this thing or something. I don't know. Trey, wait, what's the deal? Hey, we have Chick fil A. Hey. I'm waiting on my chicken sandwich. It's right there, bro. South Carolina. Oh, no. 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 Oh,